if you talk about just how just the black community has been exploited throughout America, period, it's it's a perfect business method, not to say it like that, but we came here as unpaid interns for 500 years. Then we had to be applicants. We had to ask for civil rights. We had to be applicants then. Then once we started to work, you were a, a first year worker where you got all the work. Then once we got so-called equality and everything, the value of things started to get very, very less. But once we got used up, we got restationed in the company for entertainment purposes and marketing. What they marketed was everything that they said we came from, which is degradation, savagery, and a bunch of They called us Jezebels, they called us Jigaboos, and what the fuck is going on in the media right now? Jezebels and Jigaboos. The only person who can stop that kind of thing, though, is a man. This is Deacon Salty from Machismo TV, and he's on a rant, and I thought it was so important to highlight it, so I want you to hear the rest of it before I get started. The only person who can stop that kind of thing, though, is a man. So you lock that man up. You fire him from the business. That's what you do. Now you have women in power who can't be told anything because they've been let loose to do it themselves or they don't respect any kind of authority to where now this is, it has become a virus. It just has. And it's very unfortunate, but it has become a virus. And there are people who are sick of it, but there are people who don't even know that they have it and they're spreading it. A sad reality that many of us that are adults looking to form families in today's modern day black culture have to acknowledge is that we went from a culture of people who persevered through some of the worst atrocities known to mankind to become an elegant people. Although not perfect, we were graceful and deserving of respect. For many black people, both men and women, seeing that come to an end is somewhat dismaying. As a people, we went from taking pride in our dignity, even in our alacrity of resources, to a time now when many of us bask in ignorant, degenerative behavior. Now, all that's left for those of us that would like to preserve a healthy form of this culture is to consider options outside of the box. For those of us that don't choose these options, we run the risk of the culture consuming all of us, even those of us that mean well. I'm calling out all the parents. If you're a parent and your child is in pre-K to elementary school, elementary school to high school, I'm calling you out. The children today, I have never experienced, and I'm, I'm 22. Having to teach and work with you guys as children has been the most traumatic experience of my life. Shout out to Machismo TV and especially their Sunday night live panels. They were talking about this young lady on their panel and they had a very riveting conversation. If you have time, you really should check it out. And first of all, they were trying to claim her as their future wife because she's so beautiful. But they're talking about the fact that she wants to help. And you're going to hear the kind of opposition she's getting from the most unexpected source possible. I teach five year olds ballet five-year-old girls ballet. I have a class of 10 students. They don't respect any authority. You ask them, can you stand in your designated spot? They're telling you no and shut up. They're throwing things at each other. They're throwing things at other people, other classmates. You say, can everybody sit in their spot? I don't want to, I'm not doing that. You don't get to tell me what to do. You're not my mom. You confront the parent. The parent tries to argue with you and fuss at you because you tried to reprimand and redirect their kid. I told a young little girl, please sit in your spot. You're not my mom, you don't tell me what to do. Okay. You can hear her frustration because she really wants to help the young girls, but if the obstacle to helping the young girls learn some level of discipline or respect for authority is their own mothers, there's nothing you can really do about that. When her mom came to pick her up, I said, hey, your daughter's having a hard time following instructions. And seven times today, I've had to redirect her to just sit in her spot. Well, clearly she didn't want to sit. And mind you, this is a mom. Clearly she didn't want to sit right there. So, I mean, if she telling you she don't want to do something, why keep asking her to do it? You know she's not going to do it. 
what world do we live in? Like, what in you guys' brain as a parent says, hmm, my kid not following any directions is a, is a great thing. It's not that serious. And y'all don't have a right to tell her what to do. It's sad. It's sad. It's really, really sad. And another thing that's heart-wrenching is horrifying. Now, this is the one that really surprised me when I heard it because although it's a new phenomenon that we're not really surprised much by, it still exists and it's still extremely sad. It is horrifying. Your five-year-old daughters are asking to listen to Pound Town and Ski Yee. Your daughters, your five-year-old daughters are asking, can we hear Pound Town? I'm playing them Princess Tiana ballet music. And they are asking me, can we hear Pound I don't know what to do. And I'm so scared for these little girls today because this is the most insane, insane agenda push I have ever seen in my life. That reaction is about as genuine a reaction as you can get. This is a woman that cares more for those young girls than their own mothers do because she's thinking about their future. She's thinking about if you go into the world with this twerking and acting half crazy and trying to get sympathy while you're a person who shows that you don't have any respect for the places that you're in, that future that's waiting for you is not a very, it's not a very polite one. And she's smart enough to know that. Not to mention the fact that these young girls are probably going to get themselves in situations where they're going to be pregnant and having kids before they finish being teenagers. And she knows what's ahead for those young girls. And it's, it's really hurting her. And she, it's really sad. And she just wants to help. And she's the one who's getting attacked. One thing I've always concerned myself with is that I did not want to have a child in America for the specific reason that you can really lose your child at any time. If the woman wakes up one day and says, I don't want to be with you anymore, and she pulls a Kiki Palmer, you have lost. And then your child, specifically in this case, your daughter, gets relegated to whatever culture she allows around that child. And if she wants that child to be doing this kind of behavior, you're powerless. We do freeze dance. You guys' daughters are twerking at five. Five. Where is the parenting? Where is the boundaries? Where is the help? Y'all are not helping your kids. You're hurting them. What we're seeing in her case is something that we're seeing play itself out all around the country in different schools and different youth groups. People that are responsible and want to care about the kids are met with the roadblock of they're not their kids. So they can't teach those kids how to respect authority or how to sit down and be quiet or how to concentrate because they're going to go back home and be exposed to just the worst culture that's ever been created for young kids to consume. Many people will say that this space is one where black men just want to speak ill of black women. But if you listen to the conversation on Machismo TV, you'll see that this is a group of high value men not only lamenting her situation, but looking at a wife, because that's what she is. And she is suffering because she is seeing young girls go down a path that is going to be detrimental to them, and she's helpless. And that is a sad reality of what we're living in right now. We can't help some people and you just have to watch some of it just go the way it's going to go. And at some point, some of us just have to walk away. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, comment below. I'll catch you in the next video. Take care, guys.